Welcome back to How to Firebase with me, Chris Esplin. Again, we're gonna cover some more Firebase, as always. Today is authentication. Authentication with Firebase is fantastic. It's one of my favorite parts of the platform. Super, super fast to work with. The quickest, easiest authentication method I've ever found to use for web. So let's dive straight in and I can show you with some, just one single HTML file, how to get it all set up and running and you'll be good to go. Let's do it. So first, you import Firebase, next you initialize it with an API key, auth domain, database URL, and in this case, a storage bucket, even though I don't really need it. Then I call Firebase app with that config. Okay, everything else down here, you just see blah, blah, blah. This is my template. That's the template you see right over here, okay? Now let's get to the fun part. So you'll see here, if I wanna sign in, let's see. Just to see how this works, let's do sign in with chris at quiver.is, password, whatever, user, user. Okay, sign in. So you'll see I've got my email and my password here. If I do not have them, I'm going to throw an error. And then I just call simply firebase.auth, sign in with email and password, pass in an email and password, I get, a fun, I get a promise back. In this case, I don't need to handle the success, I'm just gonna handle the error and whatever, log it out. So that is how you log in with an email and password. Now, let's go back here and focus on this part. You'll see register is very, very similar, except for a little bit of account linking um, code here I've got in the catch handler. But all you do is you take your email and password, you pass it into create user with email and password, and then success should just happen. Uh, if it doesn't, if you have a problem, we're gonna log out the error. Now, there's one error I wanna handle manually, I don't wanna just log out. I'm sorry, I wanna handle automatically. I don't wanna just log it out to the user. If I've got an email already in use, in this case, I'm only doing two different kinds of login, an email password and a sign in with Google. So, because the email's already in use, we know that this user has already signed in with Google. Now, if you happen to have multiple different authentication methods, you may have to have some logic in here. You can't just automatically sign them in with Google. But in this case, because I know I only have email password to Google, we're just gonna sign them in with Google. So I'm gonna get the, create a credential off of their email and password, and I'm gonna sign them into Google. Auto, I can just do that with a single line, app.sign in with Google. Then I'm going to auth and link. So firebase.auth.currentuser link, pass in the, the email and password credential, and now I've got a link. Authentication, account linking success, or account linking error, right there. So this little handler right here is an automatic account linker that links my new attempt at registering an email and password. It links that failed attempt with an existing Google login. Now check it out. When I want to actually log in with Google, app.sign in with Google, which is the same thing I used right here. When I want to sign in with Google, I just get the provider. I add a couple scopes. In this case, profile and email. There are a whole bunch of scopes you can look up. Um, Google Wall has this very well documented so you can get access to all different parts of a user's Google account as needed, of course. Then sign in with pop-up provider, just pass the provider in. Now this could be a different provider. It could be a Facebook provider, a GitHub provider, a Twitter provider, lots of providers. In this case, we're using Google. You sign in with the pop-up, pass in the provider, grab the error, that's it. You wanna sign out, check it out. Firebase.auth, sign out. That's all you gotta do. And then here is the really fun part, the part I want to show off at the moment, on auth state changed. So Firebase.auth, on auth state changed. This is sort of the crux of Firebase authentication. Every time the auth state changes, this callback gets called with or without a user. If there's no user, that means you're not logged in. If there is a user, you're logged in. So over here you can see in this page, I'm currently not, I'm currently not, you'll see it logged out when I hit the page initially, I am not logged in. So let's just let this thing play through. There we go. Oh, auth, wrong password. There's already a, already a created password here. I'm um, not certain what it is. So let's just try a new one. Chris, plus one, user, user, sign in. 
Let's get rid of that and let it play. User not found. There is no user corresponding to this identifier. Great. So now I'm going to register it instead. Now I got a user. You'll notice this user logged out on line 117. Line 117 is right here. That means my auth state changed. Now I've got a user. I can do firebase.auth.current user and check it out. There's my current user. Excellent. Now let's say I want to sign it with Google. We've got lots of Google accounts sitting around here. Let's just sign in with this one. There we go. So now I've got a linked, it linked all automatically. I've got a linked user account. You'll notice I've got all this garbage here and the email is chris at quipper.is that I signed in with. There we go. Now, Okay, you'll see I've got a lot of different sort of logins here. A lot of them are anonymous or just random people online who hit my tutorial and started going through it and decided to do it against my Firebase, which, you know, you can definitely do. So I've got this one, Chris plus one at quiver.is. See that one got created there. Uh, I've got Chris at quiver.is. I've got an email password and a Gmail. These are anonymous logins that have been created and can you know what? They can just be deleted. There's really no reason to hang on to anonymous logins. All right. Check over here in the sign-in method. I've got email, password, Google, Facebook, Twitter, not GitHub, but anonymous enabled. And I've got to enable them for my different domains, test domains, whatever. I can control my email templates as well because there are functions and you can see them on the medium post I've got accompanying this video. There are functions for resetting passwords and emails and they're all very simple. You just call them and get a, get a promise back and, and you're done. Okay. Let's fuss with this a little bit more. I mean, I've already signed in, registered, signed in with Google. We can sign out. See when I sign out, my user now goes to null. Now if I go here, that's null. Sign back in again. There we go, got another user. And we're done. So this should be all that you need to know to get started with Firebase authentication for web. I have an accompanying medium.com article that should let you copy paste some code out and really get a jump on this exercise. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and please subscribe down below if you like what you see. Thanks a lot.